What's going on Koi lovers and Fitz fam? I am here, I'm at the Rare Tank, the Aragokis. These have been a favorite Koi of everybody in America lately. We've sold a ton of these kind of Koi. We have them in Nisai and Sansai, which means, for you guys who don't know, Nisai is a two-year-old Koi, Sansai is a three-year-old Koi, and they're 20 to 24 inches. This is from a breeder called Ikarashi Kazuto. He has a Koi farm up in Niigata and one down in Ojia. He breeds the, uh, as my friend Tim Wise would say, from quality to quality, the weird and wonderful stuff, which to me is what I like, what the American market likes, so it's what we have. But I'm done rambling on, let's go see some of these beautiful fish. All right guys, these are so, I really don't know why I'm even showing these, I wanna just keep them for myself. They're so nice. I, I walked into Ikarashi's Koi House when uh, I was there. I saw this tank of fish, it was a little bigger than this. About 35, 40 koi in there. And I just, I said, uh, one of my favorite words in Japanese, I said, uh, Zenbu, which means all of them. So uh, he looked at me like, seriously? I was like, yeah, Zenbu, America, let's go. Ikodadesuka, give me the price, I want them. So that's what I did, and uh, we're really happy with these fish. But I'm, I think I'm gonna keep a couple, but I'm gonna pull up one of my favorite ones now. It's like a golden koi. It's really sweet looking. Has some ginrin in it. The scales are really cool. And I mean, guys, the classic like Gosanke fish are great. The Goshis are nice, the Shiros are nice. But imagine having something like this, two and a half feet long, swimming around your pond. It's just, you don't see it every day. Fish like this are just, they're rare. They don't come by often and... They're really cool. I mean, put that next to a Kahaku. It's unbelievable that a fish like this started from a carp back in the day, 200 years ago in Japan, and this is what they're producing now. So, really, really cool stuff. And Ikarashi, his father, used to be famous for breeding Kahaku, Gosanke. And for years, he just won every award for that. And now his son has taken the farm in a different direction. He still breeds amazing Kahaku, Sanke, and Showa, but this Aragoki stuff he's doing is uh, it's what people are talking about. So here's another, like, I don't know what you call it, Platinum Aragoki, Ginrin, I almost, almost dropped it. And uh, just for comparison, guys, here's a two-year-old Kahaku that Ikarashi bred. So he's still breeding amazing, amazing Kahaku. He's getting the body of these fish from that Kahaku bloodline that he's doing. And just look at the size of that fish for two years old. And really, really spectacular. People are calling these dragon koi, dragon scaled koi. You know, call them whatever you want. I call them sold because we can never just keep them in stock. There's also a, there's a black one. Which is really cool. Lauren, how many people we have on TikTok? Almost 4,000 likes, so uh -oh. you're getting close to having to jump in this pond. No, I just pushed Mike in. <laughs> yep. To reply to the comment, we do sell these fish. Check out our website, everythingkoi.com, or send us a message. This one's pretty sweet, guys. I'm going to get this boring old Kahaku out of here. But because these fish have only been here for three weeks and they're all in great condition. You gotta think about it. They're shipped in a bag, in a box, from Japan. I'm, I'm soaking wet again. For 48 hours. And uh, look at that color combination. These fish would look amazing in any pond. The contrast between the three of them is spectacular. I don't want to sell them, but I will. And like Ikarashi, the breeder, he just surprises you. You walk in, you see these crazy Aragoki, and then, oh wait, look, a Tancho Asagi. Just, you know, you don't see these every day in Japan, and when you do, hold on. I've lost my fish handling skills. Don't worry guys, you're fine. But you don't see that kind of fish every day. You know how many, let's get this golden guy out of here. But look at that, 
you don't see a Tancho Asagi every day or a Maritou Asagi. It's just a great fish. When you see it, you buy it, and someone will, someone will pick that up in the next week or two at the farm, so. Really cool pattern. Great koi. Some of the best stuff. We also, guys, we have Tosai available from this same breeder. Uh, all Aragoki Golden Tosai. So, after this video, check out the next one. We're gonna have Tosai from this breeder available. So if you don't wanna spend the money on a big fish like this and you wanna let it grow, check out everythingkoi.com. And then uh, these Tosai, they're, they're eight to 10 inches, they're great fish, and you can grow them up to look like this. Um, reason people buy, buy bigger fish is they have bigger ponds and uh, they wanna buy a finished koi. When you're buying a Tosai, sometimes it takes a little bit longer for it to grow. So. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like this one, subscribe to the channel, and buy these fish. Come on, let's go. <laughs>